Hey YouTube, um, this is my 18650 charger, I've got charging individual 18650 cells. Uh, I got, I ended up getting these, these holders with the spring on one end, a bit of a metal brass tab on the other. Uh, I actually cut the edges off that sort of curl around the top of the cells, makes it a lot easier to get them in and out, um, but I do find Sometimes you actually have to physically push them down for them to make contact properly. Um, but other than that, these have worked fine for me. Uh, these ones with tape don't work properly for one reason or another. Uh, that all the all the boards have just got a copper wire, tin copper wire. I've just sold it to the top of all the USB connections, so that's negative. And then you got your positive wire running along the front and he soldered onto there. I've got a DC jack and uh, that's more of a current loop so I can put my current clamp meter through it. Uh, it doesn't get the first one but it's only one. Uh, a small fan that sort of helps provide some airflow across these because these can get quite warm and a DC to DC converter which goes from my 12 volts down to 5 volts to run the circuit and a bit of a bolt capacitor on there. But I got something from China, as everyone does. Some discharges. So uh, so far I have basically been using my IMAX. Now I've got all bits and pieces around. Uh, to charge and discharge packs of five generally. So I can get the tool batteries and just leave them as the pack 5 and then I've been using the ones that are good. But now I've got a whole heap of these individual cells. So I brought some of these. These are only cheap. Okay, so you get a 5 watt 75 ohm resistor. So at 4 volts they are not super, super helpful. Uh, but these are the boards I went with. Uh, I'm not going to use those, those resistors that come with it. I'm going to use some 1.2 ohm resistors I've got. So this is just a simple resistive one and then it tracks your power. Your amp hours going into into your dummy load and gives you a capacity. Also runs on 5 volts. So I'm going to arrange these in such a way I'll fit them all on the board and we'll come back. Okay everyone, this is what I'm sort of thinking. I haven't got the holders yet, though I'm still waiting on those to come in. Um, but on these boards, you've got two resistor terminals and your battery terminals. And your positive battery terminal is connected directly to the resistor. And then you've got a MOSFET that switches the negative through to the resistor. So, so you get a lower RSD on, cheaper for them to produce. So, if I, I don't have to go through the screw terminal. I can go from, that from the positive terminal on the battery holder through my series chain of 1.2 ohm resistors and then my negative will come over to here then out of here to resistors so this will still be able to turn on I've got 5 volts here run 2 leads off the bottom of the board or wherever I can pick up 5 volts so these might be these tabs and I'll check that and um, I'll work out where I can get 5 volts to it So I can run that directly onto this bus bar and then these will space through up here and then my DC converter can go on the end. Shorten these wires. And so that'll keep a heat up here. Then I can put a fan or something up here and a bit of a duct just to help move air flow across all these resistors. So you're going to have four of them so you should have a bit of heat up there and just dissipate into the air. So that's what I'm planning on doing, I'll come back, show you. 